Well, hey there, YouTube viewer. Lord Spoda here. Now, hey, do you like that show Cosmos? I love it. Um, I started watching it, and uh, I kind of marveled at the guy who narrates the show, uh, Neil deGrasse. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Tyson, and I'm just called. I'm just going to call him uh, NDT because I just don't know how his middle name is pronounced. But uh, I remember seeing him thinking, wow, he kind of looks like Cleveland Brown from Family Guy. And uh, Seth MacFarlane, who uh, is the creator of Family Guy, is actually an ex exec producer on Cosmos. But that's where the similarities end, because Cleveland Brown is kind of a dope. And this guy, Neil deGrasse Tyson, is very smart. Now, I've been kind of fascinated by the guy because when I read the promos for the show, I just, you know, I read that he was an astrophysicist and, uh, you know, he's going to narrate the show. And I watch it, and the guy is so at ease in front of the camera. I mean, he's like a real television star. And I'm like, how did some nerdy scientist get so good at this already? So I kind of looked into who the guy was, and he's a really interesting person. It turns out he's done quite a bit of TV already. He uh, hosted a show called uh, Nova Science Now on PBS. Now, I've never heard of it, never watched it. So that kind of explains partially why I've never heard of him. And then, of course, he's done The Daily Show, The Colbert Report, and Real Time with Bill Maher. I watch those shows, but I've never seen uh, Neil on those. But anyway, this is who he is. He was born the middle child of three in Manhattan, but he grew up in the Bronx. Now, his mother was a gerontologist. Am I saying that right? A gerontologist. That means she studies uh, aging. And his father was the Human Resources Commissioner for New York City. And he was also the Director of Harlem Youth Opportunities. So his parents are clearly pretty intelligent. And that's probably where he got it from. Now, he attended public school in the Bronx. And at the age of nine, he uh, discovered astronomy after um, seeing the stars in rural Pennsylvania. I guess you can't see the stars in New York. And so by the age of 15, he was somewhat of an expert and started getting recruited by elite colleges across the country. Um, but he wasn't just into that nerdy science stuff. He was a wrestler, and in fact, in high school, he lettered in wrestling. So he was a bit of an athlete as well. Anyway, at 17, Carl Sagan tried to recruit him to go to Cornell and even invited him up to stay for a day and if you watch I think the first episode of Cosmos he talks about it but what he didn't say I don't think is that he didn't go to Cornell he went to Harvard uh, where he majored in physics and he also wrestled in fact he uh, lettered his senior year in wrestling at Harvard but he also liked to dance and uh, he studied jazz ballet and Latin ballroom who would have known Neil is a dancer too Anyway, he graduates Harvard with a degree in physics and then moves to Austin where he goes to the University of Texas and studies astronomy, getting a degree in that as well. Um, he also danced there, winning a gold medal with the University of Texas dance team. And yet another thing happened to him in Texas. He met his future wife. After finishing at Texas, he went to Columbia University and got a master's degree in astrophysics. Of course, he's done a lot of things since then as well. He's been involved with NASA. Uh, he's written several books. And he's become the director of the Hayden Planetarium. Now, being a scientist, you might ask, what's his thoughts on God? Well, this is what he said when he was asked that question. I remain unconvinced by any claims anyone has ever made about the existence or the power of a divine force operating in the universe. Anyway, I find the guy really interesting. What do you think? Well, comment below and we'll talk about it. All right? Lord's photo out.